This video will demonstrate how to set up and perform Benefuncture procedure. First, let me define what is Benefuncture. Benefuncture, or sometimes referred to as Benefuncture, Benefuncture, or even Venufuncture, is the collection of blood from a vein which is usually done for laboratory testing. The blood is normally drawn from a vein on the top of the hands or from the inside of the elbow. The purpose of venipuncture are first, to obtain a blood specimen, second, is to infuse fluids and blood, third, is to administer medication, and fourth, is for diagnostic tests. And now, here are the preparations and procedures in performing venipuncture. Prepare the equipment needed, such as um, gloves, needle, the hub, evacuated collection tubes, alcohol wipes, syringes, van aid or tape, um, gauze pad, cobidon iodine, um, requisition form, tourniquet, and sharps container. Then, determine the type of needle or butterfly infusion needle required. Then, attach the unused needle to the plastic needle holder. Then, select appropriate blood specimen tube for test. Determine whether the blood sample will need special preparation after collection. Um, refer to the laboratory catalog of tests provided in your laboratory. Then, once you have all the necessary equipment, it's time to prepare the patient. First, Introduce yourself and ask for patient's full name. Then, double check that the patient's name matches the name on the laboratory form. Um, um, ask if the patient has any um, allergies or has had any uh, issues or complications during previous blood draws. Then, make the patient comfortable if you sense any anxiety or fear and then um, position the patient in a comfortable position um, the patient should either sit in a chair lie down or sit up in bed um, ask the patient to extend their arms um, the patient hands should be dangling so the blood rush down and fill the vein and then after that um, position yourself in a comfortable position when performing venipuncture, make sure to sit whenever you can. Um, it will give you more stability and it will relax you. Um, you will need full access to the arms, so you will have to sit in front of the patient a bit to his side. Then, um, um, side location. Usually, the median vein of the antecubital space of the arm is the best site in adults and children older than um, one year um, avoid thrombosed veins then if no viable antecubital vein um, inspect uh, sites distally choose distal site before proximal site then prepare your hands um, proper hygiene is essential to performing safely uh, benefuncture procedure. Um, be sure to wash your hands with soap and water and dry with clean and single-use towel. Um, depending on workplace procedure, um, you may able to clean hands with alcohol rub if they are not visibly contaminated. Then after cleaning your hands, you may now put on gloves. Then. Cleanse the site with antiseptic or cobidon iodine or alcohol prep pads in a circular pattern beginning at the center, expanding outward. Alcohol is avoided in cases in which um, drug or alcohol level um, is to be measured. Then, apply a tourniquet approximately 4 to 6 inches above the vein selected. Firmly enough to obstruct venous flow without obstruction to arterial flow. Um, 
do not leave the tourniquet in longer than one minute. It may result in hemoconcentration uh, that will affect blood test values. Then, um, uh, when a suitable vein is located, have the client make a piece so the vein becomes more prominent. Then, um, palpate the vein. It should be an elastic sensation without pulsation. Uncap the needle and stabilize the site. Make sure that the skin is tight before applying the needle because the tighter the skin, the less painful the puncture will be. Then um, insert the needle bevel side up at a 15 degree angle in line with the vein in a smooth clean motion. Um, when the needle penetrates the vein, a gib will be felt. Then decrease the angle and slowly insert the needle approximately 1 8 inch more or until the blood flow is adequate. Um, push blood specimen tube onto the needle. Then allow the blood to flow until the tube is filled. Pull back on the blood specimen tube to dislodge it from the needle into the plastic needle holder. Um, this releases the pressure. Then um, release the tourniquet, um, remove the needle, and apply pressure to the puncture site with the gauze pad um, in a smooth motion. Um, great care should be uh, taken during this part of the procedure because this has the highest incidence of accidental needle stick. Then, have the client apply pressure to the site. Um, keep the pressure to the site for one minute. Or if the client is on anticoagulant therapy, apply pressure for three to five minutes. Then, um, deposit the needle in a puncture-proof container. Then, apply a band-aid or cover the gauze pad with the tape at the puncture site. Um, instruct the patient not to rub the site because rubbing increases the risk of oozing and it may result in a bruised appearance. And he or she may remove the band-aid um, for 15 minutes. Then, label the specimen with the appropriate information such as client's name, date, time, um, ID number, and your initials. And if the specimen tube containing bloods uh, need to be centrifuge, consult the laboratory manual for time duration. And then, um, fill out the appropriate laboratory form and specify what test is to be done. And last, on completion, package as directed by the laboratory for transport. And that's all. Thank you.